and we won uh, the petition and I can assure you that uh, as we go there are other lessons which we learn and we have learned something both uh, from our political opponents and also from the judiciary but I can assure you that as a law Biden citizen I respect the judiciary I know exactly the importance of the judiciary in our country so we have learned a lot we have learned a lot Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That, that is uh, Boman Lusambo speaking just after his uh, seat uh, was uh, nullified by the Ndola High Court uh, by Judge uh, Edward Musona following a lengthy court process in which uh, the UPND's uh, Bennett Kanengo had petitioned the election of Mr. Lusambo citing uh, mass alleged corrupt uh, practices uh, as well as uh, violence. So after a series of court appearances it has all ended in this nullification. So we've heard from Mr. Lusambo who has intentions of uh, appealing the Supreme Court from this uh, outcome. So these are the live images here at the Ndola High Court where the Kabushi constituency seat has been uh, nullified. There were earlier tense, tense moments in which uh, Patriotic Front as well as uh, uh, Patriotic Front and UPN the cadres clashed just outside the premises of uh, the Ndola High Court. It has been quite a lengthy um, uh, the, the delivery of the statement of facts by Judge uh, Edward Musona and some of the striking issues that were in the in, in the in the statements of facts were the issue of uh, violence. Violence is something that the court says it had overwhelming evidence in which Mr. Lusambo's um, famous NATO forces is alleged to have caused a lot of brutality in that area, hence causing, uh, hence uh, instilling fear in the people of Kabushi. So with the courts, they view that uh, uh, that dictated the outcome of the Kabushi constituency seat in the sense that a lot of people were intimidated, such as uh, uh, the, uh, the, the petitioner himself, who uh, brought the allegations before court that he was not given a chance to fairly campaign because each time his campaign tra trail was given the, the time uh, to campaign, he was, uh, uh, he was stopped by the NATO forces led by uh, Mr. Lusambo's uh, team. So the court has found overwhelming evidence from the NATO forces, a very famous group that was known here in Dola on the Copper Belt province. So this team that accompanied Mr. Lusambo most of the time is what has uh, caused him this nullification. So quite uh, tense moments here. Uh, Mr. Kanengo, we had him earlier, he spoke and um, he spoke to the media and is very excited that the outcome 
of this uh, nullification demonstrates the independence of the judiciary. He says, uh, I think this time he will have an atmosphere in which he'll be able to campaign uh, freely with whoever is going to contest the, the election that will be set, of course, by the Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, at a later date. So these have been serious emotions here in Kabushi constituency, uh, in Dola in particular, where people were closely following this, um, uh, this uh, petition. Prior to passing judgment, we noticed that the Boma and Lusambo team were a bit jitter and we could see them outside. Even by the time the judge was, uh, even by the time Judge uh, Edward Musona was passing judgment, Mr. Lusambo and his team were already outside. So already I think they had uh, seen that uh, the, 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 the outcome was, not, was likely not to be in their favor due to overwhelming evidence that was, prevent, that was presented rather by the Bennett Kanengo-led uh, legal team. So this has been uh, the update we've been giving you here at the Ndola High Court in which the famous bulldozer, of course, this is the name that came before the judge uh, in which he, he's been cited, Mr. Lusambo, as a name that was associated with violence. So this has been an update here at the Ndola High Court in which um, Mr. Lusambo of the former patriotic of the former ruling party, the Patriotic Front, has lost this set. So we look to see what his next step is since he has hinted that he will petition the outcome.